Shaka Gorel and his wife have been serving Jamaican Creole fusion for seven years. My family is from Jamaica and my wife's family is from Louisiana. Formerly in a food truck that was crushed by a tree in Hurricane Zeta, they opened Aphrodisiac Nola restaurant in Gentilly just over a year ago. And this restaurant may turn into a vital lifeline for its community in the aftermath of a future major hurricane. Stay kind of open and be a hub for the community. Aphrodisiac Nola is one of the first stay lit restaurants. Solar panels and Tesla batteries create a stay lit microgrid system, which will keep power flowing, fridges running and food served, which is like a really big deal for a restaurant and of course having to close because you don't have power. It's an initiative through Feed the Second Line. Executive Director Trenise Williams says the idea came after Hurricane Ida when restaurants lost thousands of dollars worth of food and more than a week's worth of business. You have small minority owned restaurants that are housed in these neighborhoods in the community. So it's just think about it like if we empower these restaurants and make them become a hub to where they're a cooling station, a feeding location, somewhere that our community members can just at least charge their devices. There are four stay lit restaurants so far. Aphrodisiac Nola in Gentilly, Queen Trini Lisa in Mid City, Fratai in Treme and Grace at the Green Light, an organization that feeds the unhoused. So the goal is to actually get the eight more installs completed before hurricane season is over. Each installation costs between 60 to $90,000. This month, Feed the Second Line won the $250,000 U.S. Department of Energy Inclusive Energy Innovation Prize. And in March, the group was granted $300,000 through a city grant. Which is gonna allow us to do more installs. I mean, that means a lot during those times to find some place where you can get a warm meal. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. Depending on grants and other funding, the goal is to eventually have 300 stay lit restaurants across the city. That is a really 